Just because somebody stuck around for however many years is not the reason to give him rank. The idea of Black Sash is not a rank. Black Sash is becoming a solid, becoming a member of our Harangdo family. That means for the rest of your life, you're committing to Harangdo and teaching, spreading, living the Harang way of life. If that is not acceptable, which also means they have to be a leader, they have to teach. You cannot lead if you don't have anybody to lead. Okay? So if they don't have that desire, they don't need to get black sash. They can remain half black sash until train all their life if they want to remain a student. Black sash or black belt, a lot of people black belt, you know, they, what do they do? Hmm? Each belt, they meet the minimum requirement, they get their belt. And then another belt, they meet the minimum requirement, they got the next belt. Right? You go all the way that way and you get the minimum requirement to get the black belt. Then all that belt is the most minimum of value. When you've earned, what, what, what does that mean? Is that you worked given up, sacrificed, shed blood, sweat, and tears. It was the hardest thing you've ever did, and it was the most, and the most difficult task you've ever endured, and you got that black belt, then it means everything. It means everything. We're going to first do the combination punch. What stance are we in? A lot of you, you guys will be like this. This is not it, right? I'm not in a... Stance this way. It's a little bit open. So let's work on the back fist. Forget the stance. Back fist, this is how it has to go. This is a back fist. What is that? The elbow must lead. So a lot of people, and this is what uh, one of our students here, uh, Claire, was having a problem. You're, you're rotating, you're doing this. The hand cannot rotate, okay? If I it's not hit up like that. And if you do that, do that. It, your shoulder rotates, the rotator cuff. This is dangerous for the shoulder. You cannot do this. It has to be here. And also, not here. Always here. Having the problem, they were taking the arm like this. So, I didn't teach this, but I'm going straight. But what I'm doing is I'm flicking from here. I'm twisting at the end. So if I just go here, what is that? That's just my arm, my tricep. That's hard. See, what is happening? What am I doing? Where is the power coming from? From the ground. So now you go back and forth and bam, right? Bam. But when you have form base, the whole entire idea of having a form base is so that we can lean and do everything else and still not fall. This is to be firm. Never flick the wrist. Never do that. Never. Okay? It's boom. What has to be happening here is relaxed, open, and gripping at the end. Yellow sash combination punch is practicing this idea. Why? Because once we start doing it, we go close. We go open. We go close. We go open, we go open, open, close. See, right? That's the right way, right? What do everybody do? Right, when we're drawing circles, okay? Right, so this is all how you're gonna draw circles. Here you go. You can't do that, okay? This way you draw a circle. I hear what I'm saying to you? Sure. See, this is a circle. That is a straight line bent. That's the whole idea here. So if I'm going like this, I'm going. Isn't that it? Now we go to back to the stance. Why is this important? Because now you got to go. Think about it. Think about the speed. I go pop back. That means I got to pull. I got to hit. In the speed that I'm coming back, I gotta hit the next one. 
Did you see that? <laughs> it's got to, that speed, this coming back has to be your next hit. Pop, pop, pop. What is the back foot doing? It's pivoting. Right, heel up, and boom. But when it comes back, when it comes back, I can't sit on it, because I'm going again, right? I'm just going pap, 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 and ready to move to the next. A lot of people, they start moving the base. No, anchor, pop, boom, right? And look at my body, right? It's not like this. I'm not here, I'm here. See, one, two, three. Where, where are we in it? See, look at my shoulder. No, I can't be here because I'm going right in again. So what are you guys doing? What are you doing? When did I do that? What are you doing? Are you hugging? Hug my wife before I hit somebody. What are you doing? What are you doing? Pop! Pop, pop, pop! <laughs> Here. Eh. What, what? Are you a catapult? Huh? You got to, eh, you, what, are you, what are you? Huh? You got to be able to, entire idea is here, pull, here. Yes. Is that power or no? I lost. My, but, my but also, where am I hitting you with? Do you feel my knuckles? Yeah, what is it? The knuckles uh, enter I, into the... I didn't hit with back here. What did you feel? Knuckle to the big ah, My knuckle, I'm hitting with my knuckle. So what's the next movement? It's the roll. Okay. Do the roll. <laughs> That's what it is, right? Do the disco. So roll one hand. Right? Now roll both. When I did this, it's not a joke. I'm going here and boom. It's the force generated from here, here, boop. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three, pop. Easy. So here's like, right, hold my breath. <laughs> you gotta relax. Relax doesn't happen, but hold my breath. Okay, it's not a doggy paddle, right? You, you gotta go, it's relaxed, you just relax. The breath is normal. The way it has to go is pop, 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 pop. Everything else, pop, pop, pop. Right? It's all from your core. Pop, pop, pop. One arm is this is a roll punch, hit, roll punch, hit, roll back fist. And all you then add is the other arm. Boom, 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 boom. Relax, pop, pop. See, I can, I can, that's the idea of double jab, right? Pop, pop, right, boom. I get low, low, it's moving. So when I do this, it, it's with movement, pop, pop, pop. Is, is much more powerful. The entire idea, right, of one of the most, it's not percussion uh, that causes power. Sound waves, vibrational waves, water waves, it's, it's all wave form. That's power, that's true power, is in the wave, the frequency. So it's taking wave and we're Taking that wave energy, we're tightening the frequency. See, once again, right? It's following physical laws. You have to understand that. And that's the understanding of maximizing you. First of all, let me ask you this idea, right? You see, we always talk about maximizing our potential. The problem is you don't know your potential. How can you maximize? Right? At any point, you could stop and say, okay, I've reached my potential. Why we study? Why we put uh, ideas and learn new ideas? Why? So we can understand 
greater potential. You must know more in order to do more. This is why I said even in the earlier class, the most important thing that we as Harangdoas, U.S. teachers, U.S. individuals to share with everybody else. See, the, saying stuff, stuff like that, okay? Everything's possible. Really? Show me huh, what everything is possible. What can you do that's impossible? I, I tell you, okay, levitate. Go ahead, levitate. Okay, I tell you, walk through that wall. You say it's possible, go ahead and do it. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? See, you could just say stuff like that, right? Maximize your human potential. We love saying that because it's written everywhere. We wrote it. I know, I wrote it. Okay? But we say that, right? But what do you mean by that? See, that's the crazy thing, right? When you say these kind of things, these kind of memes or whatever it is, nobody asks. In my entire life, when I told the student, when I had tuition, whatever it is, I said, maximize human potential. Nobody asked. What, what potential? What do you mean by potential? Nobody asked. Do you know why? Because they all know what that is. <laughs> they all have the assumption, I know what that is. It's a good thing. I just know it's a good thing. Right? They have no idea what they're capable of. They have no idea. But at the other extreme to say everything is possible, it might be, but not for you. <laughs> you know, if somebody says everything is possible, I'll say yes, but not you, for not for you. What is everything possible? Only God, everything's possible. The notion, the idea everything is possible, why is it there? Why is it there for people to try, right? And this is the falsity. This is the falsity. This is the falsity. This is what we go ahead and put into everybody's minds. To say, yes, you can do anything you want to do. No, they can't. What I want to teach is exactly the opposite. No, you can't do anything or everything you want to do. And sure as hell, you're not going to do everything you want to do. Not on my watch. Do you know what it requires a person to be able to do anything? You got the ability. Okay, what do you need? You got the ability, you got the know-how, you got the desire. What do you need? Yes. Uh, a, clear a clear goal. Sorry. A clear goal. Okay, you got a goal. I got a clear goal, okay? I'm going to levitate. I got a clear goal. Have you guys ever heard the word discipline? Have you heard the word discipline? Yes? Yes? You need discipline. You need discipline. What is discipline? We know it, right? You know what it is. It feels fuzzy good here. Right? It's another word like potential. Oh well, yeah, it's a good thing. How about self-control? Isn't discipline self-control? Self-control for what? To do what you need to do and do what you need to do to achieve the goal with the ability that you know that you have because you have the desire, okay? And the control to do what you need to do and, oh my goodness, I'm giving you, I'm like, what else do you want me to do? You want to put it in flashing neon lights? Should I do sky writing? I mean, what, what? What were we talking about? What did I start the conversation with? Hmm? Did we not start with what we want to do? You need the discipline to do what you need to do. And you need the discipline not to do the things you want to do. What is the things you want to do? To quit, to stop. 
to play games, to go on vacation. To have sugar treats. Huh? To eat everything whenever you want. To wake up whatever time you want. To sleep later. No? See, that's discipline. Discipline is the discipline to have control, to do what you need to do, and to have the restraint. Restraint, stopping yourself from doing you should not be doing. More importantly, it's the restraint we lack. And more importantly, it's the restraint that needs to be taught. See? That's what I'm saying. So if you want to reach your potential, if you want to go ahead and achieve the impossible, if it ever is possible, is you must have extreme discipline. And maybe it's possible. But surely, surely, for any one of us, without that extreme discipline, without that extreme self-control, without choosing pleasure or work, and have the restraint, very difficult. I speak for myself. This is all of us. So don't say blurt these things out too easily. But surely to a person that don't think they can do, you need to tell them. Yes. How do you tell them and show them? How? You! By doing what? What on do? which you should be doing miraculously, incredibly well. See, that's the beauty. You tell them anything is possible, and you jump and poof, spin in the air. Right? You tell them anything is possible, and you say, hold this. Hold this cigarette in your mouth, and you do a spin kick and poof, knock it off. And you say, that's why you shouldn't smoke. You can do that. See, it's sold. You have at your disposal ex incredible potential, incredible knowledge. You have it with you. Harangdo. It's something visual, physical. It's something that you can do to go ahead and test your boundaries and your limitations and expand them and truly be reaching your full potential. And it is an incredible way you can lead and motivate other people to show them what is possible. What are you doing with it? What are you doing with it? See, it's not just for you. It's not just for you. The only reason to be great at anything, to do well in anything, to achieve in anything, is so that you can be a model, an exemplar to other people of what's possible. There's nothing more satisfaction, more satisfaction that brings to me in helping people who thought they could never do anything, who were very depressed, who had no self-esteem or belief in themselves, and use Harangdo to uplift them, to give them possibility, hope, 